So Leo, for your advice, we have rest. Now, on the flip side of this card, it says, Take a mental break. A quiet mind has direct access to wisdom and insight. And that card is paired with, Through prayer and meditation, I create a ripple effect of peace in the world. So, your oracle advice is about... Um, Rest, prayer, meditation, all of those things are direct access to wisdom and it gives you a lot of insight. So uh, you want to make sure that you're taking a mental break. Also prayer, that's very important and um, it just gives you a lot of insight. Prayer, meditation, um, making sure that uh, you get enough rest. A lot of people don't. Some people need eight hours. Some people need four. So it just depends on you. But it's important to do all of those things. And when you do, you'll create a ripple effect of peace all throughout the land. At least that's what it will feel like. And maybe that's what you can do. Maybe you have the power to do that. So that's your advice. And let's move on over to the recent past. So we have Four of Wands and the Fool card. Now for the Four of Wands, it's about maybe attending a special event. Uh, one, with, one that will be much more fun and exciting than you're anticipating. So you want to make sure to go because uh, you'll have a great time. Your business is likely to be going really well and um, you'll probably pr be proud of yourself or you were in the recent past. Although this is a very positive card to get in a reading, it shows a need to keep your wits about yourself. Um, Keep your wits about yourself and um, just remember that you deserve to treat yourself to some fun. But just know that you're still in a building up phase. And now is really not a time to rest completely on your laurels. This card can sometimes mean that you'll be moving your place of residence. When it talks about love and relationships, it's an indication that your relationship is about to become a whole lot more committed and up to and including possible marriage. If you were looking for love in the recent past, cancers, and if you were um, single, special events like a wedding, bar mitzvahs, commencement ceremonies, they were all great places to meet someone. And if you had got invited to something like that in the recent past, um, you should have made sure to go because it would, like I said, it would have been more exciting and more fun than you anticipated. So that's with the Four of Wands. And it's paired with the Fool card. Now this is an indicator of newness of one form or, or another. In many ways, it indicates the purity and open-hearted energy and the innocence of a child. We all know that children, they're trusting and trust forms the basis of meaning for this card. This is usually a positive card, but there could be one thing. It's gonna be important for you to look where you're going, trusting yourself to take a step into the unknown. That's one thing. But if you do so without any thought whatsoever, that could be a big mistake. So that's what the full card is about. And if you were asking about relationships, love, then you get this card. So it means that you probably were not ready for a relationship in the recent past. At least not quite yet, even though 
others that could have been pressing you for one. You probably just weren't ready. Now there's nothing wrong with having fun and this card is a very positive card for your love life. Lots of fun was probably in the making in the recent past and that's probably what you really wanted at that time. On the other hand, if you were looking for a relationship in the recent past and hopefully love, then you, you would have needed to make sure that you didn't let your desire for fun overlook your real or make sure it didn't op make sure your desire for fun uh, let you let you overlook the real thing should it come along. What I'm saying is that it's easy to be having so much fun and wanting to have so much fun that you for you just overlook potential suitors. That that would that would have been easy for you to do in the recent past. Because when you're wrapped up in having fun, uh, you can overlook a lot of things. Even even if it's a good relationship that comes your way. Because true love is not always instant, so you'll need to make sure that you're aware that it could be creeping up on you. So with these two cards paired together for your recent past, the Four of Wands, um, there was some celebration. So there was possi possibly some celebrating in the recent past. There could have been um, a potential for a long-term commitment, but uh, you were probably more interested in having fun. You weren't really uh, looking for any type of relationships. Yeah, you were just carefree, footloose, and you were okay with that in the recent past. But uh, you were also attending a lot of celebrations. So this was the recent past. Yeah, you were just, you were okay with just hanging out, going to parties, and just doing you. You weren't, you weren't really into commitments or relationships, but the possibility, it was there. So let's move on down to the present time. We have the Eight of Wands, and then we have the King of Cups. Now with the Eight of Wands, a lot of things could be up in the air for you at this time. You may be frustrated and tired of waiting. This card is indicating that you'll have to be patient a while longer. You may have done all that you could do. And decisions now must be made by other people. Nothing seems to be moving ahead. Don't try to force things as it could backfire on you. Sometimes our actions, they're all in the wrist. All you can do is put your best out there and see where it lands. You put your best out there now, just wait. Now the Eight of Wands is paired with the King of Cups. Now this speaks of a balanced male and female energy. It holds very positive qualities, both masculine and feminine. Often, it's referring to an actual man in your life. If this is referring to a live person, He's referring to a very kind and loving man. This man will generally have hair on the lighter end of the spectrum, but it could go either way. Just know that you're being supported by the universe in ways that you can see and ways that you can't see. So, seen and unseen, you're supported by the universe. The King of Cups, it represents, like I said, kindness and compassion. There's an element of pure and true love in your life, no matter what your situation is at this time. So nurture yourself and allow others to nurture you. And that's with the King of Cups. And for your present time, we also have the Eight of Wands. So they're basically saying that um, 
there's a loving, compassionate person that's in your life and they're offering pure and true love. You're waiting on um, you're waiting on something. There's something that's not moving ahead. Okay, this person, since we're talking about a person, you're waiting for possibly a commitment from this person. And it's just not coming fast enough. Mm -hmm. It's not coming fast enough from this very kind, compassionate person. But just know that... Uh, they do, they do love you. They support you in ways that is seen and unseen. So it's just the connection is moving slow. It's moving a lot slower than you would like for it to. But you cannot force things because it could backfire on you. But this is a very balanced man, very balanced and compassionate, and you're you're wait you're ready for this re this connection to um, move a lot faster, and it's just not it's not moving it's not moving fast enough, and that's for the present time. Now let's move on down and take a look at the challenge. We have the page of page of pentacles and the three of cups. Now the page of pentacles, it can be a card about boredom in some ways. You could be tempted to say or do things to shake things up, shake people up just for a little little excitement. Rethink that impulse, rethink that impulse, and find a better use of your energy. Excitement can be created. With a page of pentacles, it's an excellent energy to support you when you have somewhat tedious work to get accomplished. This page can give you focused backbone and the will to stick to a task that's not necessarily glamorous or fun. Now, the page of pentacles is paired with the three of cups. Uh, this card is considered to be a card of reunions, but it's not, it's not always romantic reunion, but it could be. You could think of it as a reunion in the broadest sense, like running back into or meeting up with someone or something that you have been away from for a long time. Keep in mind, it's generally considered to be a very happy reunion and very upbeat. It also can mean celebration, your own or someone that you care about, such as celebrating around a new baby, wedding, or some other happy occasion. Now, with these two cards paired together, uh, the Page of Pentacles, the Three of Cups for your challenge, There's a reunion, and it could be, like I said, it could be romantic, it could be um, maybe somebody that you run back into from uh, a long, long time ago, somebody that you went to school with, and it's been mm, 10 years, or 5 years, or maybe 3 years, but it looks like with the Page of Pentacles, you're kind of bored with the reunion, or you're bored with something. I don't. I shouldn't say bored with the reunion because this Three of Cups is a happy reunion. You're bored with. It's a happy reunion, but there's something you something you're bored about. So maybe your reunion is uh, celebrating a happy occasion. And maybe you're just bored with the occasion. Okay, so you're, you're trying, you're being a little bit, 
you're feeling like being mischievous at this occasion and you want to shake things up do something crazy just for a little bit of excitement um, the page of Pentacles is saying to rethink that impulse find a better use of your energy um, maybe get a lot of work done but this is a happy reunion but it it seems like something about it didn't quite turn out like you wanted it to so you're shaking things up <laughs> yeah but you're happy you're happy because the three of cups is real happy um, you see how these people are jumping up in the air um, yeah maybe you maybe you're very happy with this with the reunion with the return of who knows maybe a long lost love but you want it to be more exciting okay because the three of cups i'm gonna say it again it's a very happy reunion and it could be a return from a an ex or someone that you really wanted to see but There's a but there because you want to shake things up. Maybe it just maybe it just wasn't crazy enough for you, the the event or the occasion. So maybe you guys went to a party. Let me give you an example. Maybe you and your ex you went to a party and the music they played was so boring. Okay, this is a perfect example. The music they played was so boring, it was slow, and you like upbeat, up-tempo type music. So, the two of you, you caused um, a lot of chaos in the restaurant or, or to the nightclub that you went to. Because um, you, um, you just decided to shake the place up because it was just, uh, the music was so dead. But the company, the reunion was great the get back together with your ex that was beautiful but the event you, the event you two guys went to was down the drain the music sucked um there was not enough people there but you loved the return of this past person that was great so that was a perfect example so i hope you get what i'm trying to say great return great reunion very happy but wherever you two went to celebrate, that really sucked. So that's a perfect example for these two cards. Okay. All right. That's how that went. Now, that was your challenge. Now, let's move on over to the outcome. We have the Seven of Pentacles, and it's paired with the Nine of Swords. Now, the Seven of Pentacles is a card about returns on investments. Now, this can be literal, such as a bank account returning money to you, or figuratively, such as investments of time and effort and energy that you've put into relationships. You'll be reaping what you have sown at this time. This is a positive thing. This should, well... I won't say that, but you'll be feeling more secure about things than you have in quite some time. Things will be moving along. You'll be feeling hopeful, more hopeful about the future with a very good cause. You may have decided, well, you may have to decide whether to put your energy into things, people, and situations that you have already are involved with. Or whether to spend your energy trying to bring more into your life. And that's with the Seven of Pentacles. And it's paired with the Nine of Swords. Now this card, you need to guard against feelings of anxiety. If you're feeling anxious, take a good look at whether or not any of that is under your own power or control. And try to lessen it. Or if other things or people in your life are contributing to this anxiety. If that's the case, take a good look at that and see whether or not something in the relationship can be changed to make it more workable for you. There's something about this time period that 
can cause people to feel like their life should be in some way more or bigger than it is. So you need to try to take comfort and joy in the ordinary things. And just know that's where the beauty really is. Now, with these two cards paired together for your outcome, Seven of Pentacles, Nine of Swords, uh, your money is going to take off in a really big way. Possibly a bank returning money to you. Returns on investments, that's what this card is about. And if it's not, if it's not uh, financial, money coming back to you it's like i said time and energy that you put into a relationship you're reading what you you're reaping what you have sown at this time so that's gonna make you feel really good leos really good and there's one thing though you've got some type of anxiety Whatever you're reaping at this time, it's causing some anxiety, some type of hardship. Yeah. Some type of hardship. Maybe the return on the investment, it wasn't as big or as great as you thought it would be or hoped it would be. So it's causing some anxiety, a little bit of anxiety, maybe a lot, but um, you're feeling hope, more hopeful about the future, but there's still some anxiety. So maybe you're just wanting more, more of a return. So it's causing you some worry and you're being anxious. So you need to take a good look at that and see if what see whether or not you can um, pull that pull that back under control and make things more workable for you. So yeah, it seems like you just you just want more. You want more. It wasn't it wasn't enough? Uh, the energy that you put into a relationship it's coming back to you, but it seems like. You want more or you want it to be different. So that's going to be the outcome. Leo, I hope you enjoyed this reading. I'll put a link below of the extended of this reading in the description box. And I'll go over a lot more. I just want to say I thank you so very much for watching. Please comment, subscribe, leave, um, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell that way you'll be notified when i post the next reading i just want to say i hope that you're enjoying 2020 and i'm wishing you a very very happy february and i thank you so very much for watching have a great evening